Hi, I'm Chastity Ray, and I am currently a clinical psychology PhD student at UND. And I want to just talk a little bit about body hacks that you can do when your mind is out of order. So um, one of the things that can happen is you can feel some very, very strong emotions when you're encountering difficult situations. And one of the things that you always have access to but you often get disconnected to in that moment is, is your body. So one of the things that you can do is connect with your breath and slow your breathing down. And a common technique that you can do is to count your breaths. Some people might do box breathing where you breathe into a count of four and you hold the breath for a count of four and you breathe out to a count of four and then you hold for a count of four. Another technique might be breathing into the count of six and breathing out to the count of six and maybe trying to breathe out a little bit longer with every breath. And that's one of the ways that you can use your body to hack your mind. Another way is to use your posture. So when you are feeling big emotions, it's really, really common for people to really get smaller and curl in like this. And when you're curled in like this, this tells your body I'm not safe, I'm in a hiding position, and that can actually turn on your stress response. And it's something that a lot of times we are not even aware of, we're not conscious of. So one of the ways that you can hack that is notice what your posture is, and then roll those shoulders back, you know, try to get your chin level, and just stand tall, you know, tuck your pelvis if you're standing, um, and just, then you can even take those deep breaths because when you have your shoulders back like this, it actually increases your ability to take a deep breath. Um, and when you have your shoulders back, studies have shown that it can decrease that stress response that happens. Another uh, body hack that you can use is giving yourself a hug or giving yourself like just touch. So there's um, cranial nerve X, the vagal nerve, it goes through your whole body, and that is connected to your ability to settle down. And so one of the things you can do is, is you, can, you can put your hands on your chest, you can put your hands on your stomach, you can do both, you can cross your arms like this, you know, and just putting that pressure can help also bring down your anxiety. Uh, another hack, another way to access that that I have found is actually just to lay on your stomach. So if that's an accessible position for you, that's another way that you can do that. Put a couple pillows under your chest and then read a book and give yourself five minutes to just, to just hang out. Um, another body hack to get at your brain is to use your brain. So when we are feeling really strong emotions, a lot of times your body, your brain will actually move the proportion of blood that's going to your executive centers. And so one of the ways that you can get back into your, your executive centers, your ability to make your own decisions and um, redirect your life is to use your words actually. So you can name what's happening to you. You can identify what's happening to you. You can describe to someone what you're feeling and just the act of being able to say it out loud, even if you're all by yourself in your room, that can help um, move that blood back away from those strong emotion centers and back into your ability to uh, take control and uh, calm yourself down. Another way to do that is to name three things that you can see in the room, name three things that you can hear, and name three of your body parts. And so again, that's a way to just get out of the emotions and move more in towards um, the thoughts. Finally, uh, another hack is called the ice dive. And by putting cold water on your face, by putting a cold pop can on your nose, a cold ice pack on your face, any of those things, um, it actually triggers something called the diver's reflex. And your body moves the blood around to can, and it lowers your heart rate to put you into a survival mode and relax. And so it's one hack to, um, to lower your, your uh, heart rate. It's a hack to lower your uh, stress.